Hi, I'm Nana Girl and I want to be a superhero! And this week the superpower I'm trying to get is the power of super sleuthing. Since my cookies have gone missing, I've been working hard to build up my superhero detective toolkit. I love the cipher wheel to make secret messages. But what if I don't have my cipher wheel with me? I will need a plan to get secret messages out in an emergency. I need a way to be a double secret agent. A secret secret agent. <laughs> In case I have double secrets to hide. I need my secret messages to be invisible. Wait, what if they were actually invisible? There are lots of ways to write invisible messages, but they are only good if you can make them visible again when you need them. Okay, this sounds like a job for science. We know that oil and water don't mix. If you've never seen this before, try adding a drop of cooking oil into a glass of water. You'll see that the oil sits on top of the water and no matter how much you stir it, it just won't mix in. We're going to use this knowledge to write a secret message that can be revealed when you need it using a super spy swab pen. For this experiment, you will need a white crayon. Birthday candle will also work. Some paper, some thick and some thin card. Tape, cotton wool or a paper towel. Pencil, wooden skewer, scissors, blue tack, a ruler, and some black tea. So let's start with the tea. You might need an adult to help you make some and leave it to cool. Black tea works the best, but if you only have green tea, that will work as well. I'm going to put that over here to the side. On your card, you're going to draw and measure two rectangles. I'm using thick corrugated card here from a box. And that's going to be helpful because I can score it later on. You'll see why. Okay, so start with your first one. It's seven by four. So here's seven, here's four. So my next rectangle is nine by seven. So I'm going to go nine centimeters across and then seven centimeters up. I'm going to cut those out. Now the next part is going to be easier if you can score your cards. You're going to score with your scissors. And this is going to help you in a second to fold this rectangle into a tube. Okay, now take your tape and you're going to want to roll your cardboard into a tube shape. This is where the scoring really helps that to happen. And then tape it shut. You're going to do the same thing for the smaller rectangle. There you have a big tube and a small tube. Now you want to draw around your tubes to make a circle. So draw around your big tube and then draw around your small tube. You're going to cut those circles out and they're going to make lids for your tubes. There we go. And then you're going to stick those onto the end of your tubes. And you should find that one of your tubes fits inside the other one, like this. Now you're going to take some thin card and draw a small circle. I'm going to draw a circle probably about the same dimensions as my small tube. And then you're going to need to cut this circle out. Now fold this in half and then cut along the fold. And you've done this before, you're going to make a cone shape, so get some tape ready. You're going to make a cone shape by taking the two ends in like this and taping them together. And you're going to want to trim the end of the cone off or the nose of the cone like so. There we are. Now, next you're going to cut a small length of skewer, about four centimeters, and to it you're going to stick some blue tack onto the end, and then to that you're going to attach either some cotton wool or tissue or paper towel, depending on what you have. I have some cotton wool here, so I'm going to put it there like that to make a bit of a soft nub. Now put this through the hole you made in your cone, and then secure the back of the skewer into here with a little bit more blue tack, like so. Now tape this cone to the open end of your small cylinder. And this is going to be your revealer. Now because this is a secret detective kit, you might want to disguise it so nobody knows you're carrying it. I'm going to cover mine in yellow paper so it looks like a stick of sunscreen. But you can get inventive and do whatever you want with it to decorate it so nobody knows what it's going to be. Okay, here we go. Mine looks like sunscreen. Don't tell anybody. 
Next, we're gonna write our secret message. So to do this, you're gonna take your wax crayon or your wax candle, and we know that wax is made from oil and that water and oil don't mix. So that's gonna be our secret. And because it's white on white, nobody's gonna be able to see what our secret message is. So let's write a secret message. Hide your cookies. Okay, there's my secret message. And you can see that you can't see it. Now it's time for my mate Nano Nano Girl to see my new invention. Hey Nano Nano Girl, do you want to see my new invisible message system? What? You already knew about it and you've already written me a secret message. Oh, where is it? Under the table. Huh. Okay, I, well I can't, I can't see anything. Shall we reveal what your secret message says? Okay, hold on. I'll put that there and I will take your secret message and we will reveal what it says. Time for the moment of truth. Can I use my super spy swab pen to reveal this secret message? So this is where you'll need your tea and you're gonna dip your swab pen into the tea and wipe it gently over your message. Now the tea should stain the paper. You should be able to see that the wax doesn't allow it to stain it because we know the oil from the wax and the water from the tea are not going to mix. I can see something. What does it say? Nano Nano Girl, your message says super small suspect. Super small suspect? What does that even mean? What do you mean it's a tiny clue? I don't understand. You aren't going to tell me? I have to figure it out by myself? Hmm. Gonna need to think about this one. Wish I had a cookie to help me think. Hmm. Do you have any ideas what this clue might mean? I think I might need to look for some more clues next time to help me figure it out. Okay, time for some clue hunting. Super small suspect.